once you've created your auction event listing, uh, you can upload uh, uh, CSV files uh, to create your item catalog. I'm going to show you with this auction right here. Uh, you click on the gear icon to open up the, the dashboard, the auction dashboard. And you can click this uh, Add Items button. But before I do, I want to show you uh, over here under the auction actions, I'm going to edit this auction. I want to show you that there's a setting here for the auction. It's called Data Entry. It's already selected here to upload a file. Um, you, there are other methods to upload data or to perform data entry, uh, but the one that we're covering today is uh, uploading a, a spreadsheet uh, or a CSV file. You'll notice there's a quick button here to go ahead and go to do the data entry, so I'm going to do that. Uh, here I have options uh, similar to other upload uh, pages on the site. I can upload pictures and I can upload lots. Uh, I can also add lots manually. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and press the Upload Lots button. And you can see that I can import this CSV file from a Google Drive uh, or from my desktop using the HTML uploader. I'm going to go ahead and choose a file. But before I do, you'll notice that if I hover over this I icon, it'll tell me the required field names, the optional fields, and you can download, or I can download a, uh, a template. This top one is usually the best one. It's called Upload One um, on this uh, website. If you download that template, it'll get, have all of the column headers that you need in there. Uh, let me show you what one of these files looks like. Here we go. Uh, this is uh, the basic upload file that I have um, in an Excel spreadsheet. You'll see that there are a lot of uh, different fields up here. Uh, we can even add uh, custom fields if we want to. Um, for example, you'll see there's, it says auctioneer note. That's a custom field. It doesn't have to be there. Uh, I'm just going to say this is uh, auctioneer's note. Take. No, let's call it something else. Comment. There we go. Call it that. But you can make up your own fields, and we'll see the impact of that later on if you want to. Uh, but let me just uh, make a comment on this very first. Uh, let's go down here, just a few. I'm going to make a comment. This is a special, very special lot. All right. Anyway, you don't need to look at this spreadsheet for very long. Uh, but this is basically what the template would look like without the data in here. Uh, and it can actually, depending on what you're trying to do, uh, you can have categories and you can have a lot of other information, videos, tax rates, all of that kind of stuff uh, here in the spreadsheet. But let me go back uh, to the screen I was on, on the website, and I'm going to choose a file. In fact, I'm going to choose the file that we were just looking at. Oops. Let me go here. Um, it's this one right here, the basic upload file. Um, it, if I already had items in this auction and I wanted to overwrite the data that was already in the system, I would select this option here. It's not what I'm trying to do and I don't have information already uploaded, so it's no need to do that. If I have categories in the spreadsheet or in the file uh, which do not exist in the system, that uh, um, are new to the system, uh, I can uh, I can cause it to create new categories from the file by checking this option. The file that I'm uploading right now does not have any categories. So I'm just going to press the Upload button now. You can see that I added 150 lots. Um, it, there is some error checking, so it will tell you if it ignored or updated lots here. Now it's time to add some pictures. So I'm going to press the button up at the top that says Add Pictures. And now uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the button that says Add Files. You'll notice that I can import the pictures um, from my desktop using the HTML uploader. I can import images from an FTP server or from Google Drive. And if images already exist uh, for these lots, I can overwrite the images too uh, by clicking on this Overwrite button here. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and select a few pictures to go along with this file. I'm not going to do all of them. And let's see here. I'll do about that many. This, uh, this uploader right here can handle many, many thousands of pictures. Uh, and what it's doing now is it's going to upload the files. It's going to add your watermark, 
um, or the uh, copyright text. It's going to create thumbnails, web optimized versions of the file, um, all kinds of goodies. That's what's happening right now while it's processing the file. And once it's done processing the file, we're going to go ahead and go straight to reviewing the lots. There isn't anything else to do here. I'm going to go ahead and press this button that says review lots. Here it is. You can tell here are the lots that I added, number of pictures that go with it. You can tell there's a bunch of zeros, and that's because um, I didn't upload those pictures there. Uh, once I'm ready, if this looks good to me, I can go ahead and press the button that says make all lots. Right now it's assigning the images, uh, creating the catalog, and essentially doing what it needs to do to, to make the um, items available. Now that this is done, I'm going to press the button that says preview auction. And we can see our work now. This is, in fact, the catalog that I just uploaded. Uh, and you'll notice down here, let me scroll down. Where was it? There was a. Let's keep on scrolling here. There we go. Here you'll see that there are no pictures. Um, but up above here, these are all pictures that we added into the system. And you'll notice too if we click through. The watermark, that's kind of a bad example, but the watermark has been added and uh, all of the details are in here. This, is, this was all contained in the spreadsheet. That's how simple it is to upload a CSV file with your auction items to the auction method uh, software platform. Thank you for watching.